Okay, in this video, I'm gonna go through how to do the calculations and the write-up for the energy from foods calorimetry lab. So to determine the mass of the food burned, just take the initial mass, subtract the final mass, so 10.0 minus 9.7. Zero point three grams. Since there is only one number past the decimal place for significant figures, there's only one number past the decimal place here in a subtraction. What's the mass of the empty can and the mass of the can plus the water? What's the difference? So take full minus empty. So eighty two point three minus thirty point eight. Okay, 51.5 is the mass of the water heated, which makes sense because I added about 50 milliliters. And there's three significant figures here, three there, so I'll have three there as well because that's a, well, I guess you could just say one number past the decimal place for all of them. And then the change in water temperature, final minus initial. So 39.8 minus 21.2, 18.6. So I just took the difference in those. OK. So now I'm going to calculate the last three rows. Energy in little c calories. So to get that, I multiply the mass of the water heated by the change in the water temperature. So the mass of the water heated was 51.5. The change in the water temperature was 18.6. 957.9 little c calories. Now, for significant figures here, it's a multiplication, so I actually just take the total number. So if it's three significant figures in each of the two numbers, I'm going to have three in the final answer. So I'm just going to round 957.9 to 958. Little c calories. Okay, in order to determine the energy in big c calories, well, there's a thousand little c calories and one big c or food calorie. So I'll just take this number and divide by a thousand. So I'll just move the decimal place over three to the left and it becomes 0.958 big c calories. And then calories per gram of food burned. Well, I have to look back up and see how many grams of food did I burn. In this case, 0.3 grams. So 0.958 divided by 0 0.3, 3.28. All right, and this is a 0.3 has one significant figure, 0.958 has three significant figures, and then a division problem or multiplication problem, you just take whichever number has the least. So I'm going to round 3.28 to just 3 big C calories per gram. All right, there's my calculations. To find a little c calorie, that's the amount of energy it takes to raise 1 gram of water so not very much, one degree Celsius. Uh, big C calorie is a food calorie, and there's 1,000 little C calories in one big C calorie, or food calorie. And I'll just jump to this question five. Compare and contrast the three foods using at least three different criteria. This can be anything, okay? So it can be how quickly they burned, um, the odor, how much soot they burned. Um, could be what the food was made up of. 
could be if it was processed or not processed, if it was carbohydrates or lipids. So really any, any three criteria that you want to use for that. And that's it.